Hello, I'm Luigi Kelly. I'm a system engineer working from PowerSoft and uh, I was involved in developing the software for controlling the X new X8 amplifier um, via wirelessly or, or via uh, our software Harmonia that will be available very soon. Uh, this amplifier, as you may see, has no display at all. We thought that the display is the weakest part of the amplifier because it's the most exposed part to the weather and actually it was the most serviced part and a small display were just too difficult to control for, for having on, on your fingertips all the functions of, uh, of this wonderful amplifier. So what we thought was the amplifier has so much uh, powerful CPU has a Linux on board, it can run a web application on its own and you can connect through any device basically because you just need uh, a device like an iPad, an iPhone or anything that can browse the web and the amplifier with just a touch of this button it will generate a wireless network on which you can connect to your, with your handheld device and the web page will be displayed so you don't have to download any application from the App Store, you don't have to download anything from Android Store, everything is on board of the machine. If you uh, upgrade the firmware of the machine, the application will be upgraded too at the same time. It is a very fast, very responsive application. You have the control of the, for recalling the presets on the amplifier, but you can also uh, change the inputs of the amplifier, change the priority of the inputs. So uh, we have uh, four way, four uh, levels of redundancy. Uh, you can switch, uh, you can reorder your inputs. So if the first input fails, you can switch back to AS3, for example, and then back to analog. Um, we have a really powerful matrix in here. Uh, it is a very cool feature. You have all the inputs uh, over the top on here, uh, all the outputs listed over the side. You can click on a row and then you can vary the level of the inputs onto that output. As you may see, there are not just eight inputs, but three more. Uh, these three more inputs are the USB player uh, because you can stick a USB key in the front panel of the amplifier and you'll be able to play MP3 away files before even turning on the, the mixing console or after the show is over you can start playing some files while you are doing the cables and turning off the console. Um, you'll have also a signal generator inside the amplifier that is going to the matrix. Then you have also uh, all the controls of the, the temperature, the, the limiters and the meters of the amplifier. You can monitor the impedance of, uh, of your line, so if the speaker is healthy. And basically just in Everything of this is in, just in your pocket. You just have to browse to this application on board of the amplifier. The amplifier can be controlled, obviously, from our proprietary software, Harmonia, that is free of charge, downloadable from our website. You, with Harmonia, you can have a full control. You have eight powerful input EQ like in our KCUS when you can drag and drop as many filters as you want. We put a limit of 256 filters because we thought they were enough but actually we could do more. Then you have still the matrix like in the application and then you have two more layer of EQs. Uh, why two more layer of EQs? Because we thought that uh, we would like to introduce the speaker concept. What the speaker con concept is, is uh, let's say you have the three-way loudspeaker 
you can group three outputs together to behave like a single loudspeaker. So you will have a single preset file, a three-way preset file to load on these three outputs, and you will have the EQ for each way of your loudspeaker, the EQ for the highs, the EQ for the mids, and the EQ for the lows. But you will also have a pre-out EQ for EQing your loudspeaker as a single unit. Um, we have a huge amount of limiting capabilities, so uh, we are the only one that are capable of limiting the current because uh, our DSP can read uh, the voltage and the current of the outputs. So for devices like our m ports that are very low impedance, having a current limiter is a must to protect your loudspeakers. Uh, we have also two voltage limiter, peak and RMS voltage limiters, and our true power limiter that is still proprietary. It, it senses the voltage and the current and it, it does the math to limit to the real power that you are delivering to loudspeaker. So you will avoid phenomena like power compression and all the other stuff that you have with standard DSPs. Um, so, thank you.